Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chief Tidwell, thanks for being here. Uh, would you agree that responsible treatments in our forests reduce fire severity uh, or mitigate in insect infestation? Um, yes, we've uh, got numerous examples, and you've seen them in your, your state, where um, by thinning out these forests, we can reduce the severity of the wildfire and make it a lot easier for our brave uh, firefighters to get in there and suppress these fires and keep them from coming into our communities. So that responsible treatment is a positive move that we, we need to be making? Yes. Uh, can you tell us how much was spent last year on fire suppression versus mitigation? We spent uh, $1.4 uh, billion last year on, um, with fire suppression. And as far as on, uh, I'd have to get back to you with the, um, the actual number, but it was probably more around um, about um, maybe six, seven hundred on restoration efforts, six or seven hundred million, but I'll get back to you with the accurate number. So effectively what that is telling us is we have it backwards, given your previous comment. We need to be spending more on the front end in terms of actually going in, treating these forests to be able to reduce the threat of fire, to be able to protect our habitats, to be able to protect the species, to be able to protect our watersheds. Is, is that accurate? Um, it, it is, and, it, and if you look at what's happened over, like, say, the last 12 to 14 years, you've seen a significant reduction in the number of employees that we have that do the restoration work, that put up the, the timber cells, by, in some cases, up to almost 49 percent reduction. You've seen the funding go down over 30 percent um, over the, the last 10 years. The reason for this is to be able to um, meet the 10-year average, we have to continue to shift funds from, from these other key programs to be able to have the funds available for Let's the suppression. Let's keep that funding in mind for just a moment, uh, but I would like to be able to move to a, a, another question I'd like to ask. We have a pilot project in southwest Colorado, Pagosa Springs. Yes. Uh, We've proven that going in and being able to manage these forests and to be able to treat it, we've actually increased groundwater. Uh, the trees recover uh, to a healthy state within two weeks, according to the forester that I visited with. And moving dollars into those areas, you would agree, would be the better thing to do? Uh, yes. Great. Now, going back to the budget end of it, uh, following up on Chairman Hastings' question in terms of land acquisition, why would you make the choice then to spend more on land acquisition, because I didn't hear the answer to this, uh, saying you heard public comment. When public comment is saying protect our forests, make healthy habitat, and work with that, work with those dollars. Why are the choices not made in that direction? The, bu the budget request reflects a balance of all, all the things that we hear from the public about the, type, the different mix of benefits. Don't you have a job, though, truly to manage the forest? If they burn, there is nothing to manage. Well, that's one of the reasons why we have increased our request for suppression, increased our, re our request for preparedness. And we increased also in for acquisition. Uh, and we've also uh, from a management decision, shouldn't we prioritize in tough economic times where those dollars are really going? And rather than asking for more land to manage when we're saying we can't manage the land we currently have, let's apply those dollars to truly manage the forests that we have. Well, our budget request is a, a balanced approach. It's something we're putting forward for your consideration. The other thing I'd want to... And so I'd, I would really encourage you uh, to revisit uh, that particular portion of uh, what you're doing in terms of the budget request uh, as we move forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the collaborative process, would you believe it's an important thing to get these county commissioners and our states involved uh, when we're talking about public process? I do. In fact, um, some of our most successful collaboratives is when we've had the county commissioners d dedicate, devote their time to be part of those collaborative efforts. Great. We'll look for your support on 818, my bill.